why are people still wearing makeup and it's so hot outside? Because we can. You're really gonna put on a full face of makeup and it's 100 degrees outside? Yes. Now let's just jump right into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Jamise McPherson and thank you for coming back to a, another video. Girl. Girl. Hello. It has been so freaking hot outside. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am a full face girly, but I'm also trying to master just doing like a quick still full coverage beat face just not so in depth so that's what we're gonna do today in today's video and let's just jump right into it so first things first i like to put some type of lip oil lip product on my lips that's just what i like to do and it just makes me feel like myself i don't know i'm just a girl who loves lip gloss also i get a lot of questions about the under eye patches that i where I wear so many different kinds are the under eye patches that I am wearing today. It's an eight pack and I picked it up from TJ Maxx for $3.99. You know, I wear many different under eye patches. Also, the under eye patches that I like to use and anything else in this video will be linked in my description box down below or my Amazon storefront. So, we're gonna start this off a little different, a little different, okay? We're gonna do our base. We're gonna do our base first. We're gonna take these under eye patches off. I'm gonna spray my face using this Milk Hydro Grip Refresh Spray. And I love the way this makes my face feel. Even though it is hot outside, you guys, you still wanna make sure you are giving your face all the moisture that it needs because you don't want your face to like look patchy and cakey. So I'm just gonna spray my face with this. And already I can just feel like the refreshness going on. And you already know, what is the tutorial without my iced coffee, okay? I'm on threads really heavy and I have posted the other day, I was like, if you're still drinking Starbucks, I'm judging you. And if you're watching this and you still drink Starbucks, I am judging you too. <laughs> ghetto! The ghetto! I'm gonna go in with this Lancome High Performance Cream and I'm only going to use just a little bit of this cream. And this stuff smells really good. It is very pricey, so you don't have to go out and get that cream. I'm just using it, girl, because I need to be using it, okay? I'm always getting stuff and I'm not using it, so that's why I'm using it. And it's also good for anti-aging okay we want to look young forever period to set my face i'm going in with my elf hydro grip primer with niacinamide and if you guys have not tried this primer what are you doing because you're definitely 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 missing out and you already know i like to just tap my primer into my face it is really a personal preference um i just think my foundation lays better that way so that's why i do it i have to keep pulling up my shirt before people think i don't have a shirt on <laughs> To cover up some of my dark spots, I'm going to use my NYX Color Correcting Pro Stick. And this is in the shade Coco. And I like to use this product simply because I do have some dark spots I'm trying to get rid of. And I have noticed when I use this product, I don't have to use a lot of foundation. And even though we like a full coverage makeup look... Sometimes all you need is a good color corrector and that's it. A good color corrector to cover up some of those blemishes and dark spots and a good foundation. I love it around my mouth. 
Normally I would put this under my eye, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna take a, this is a Elf Flawless Concealer Brush. I've had this for a long time, girl. And I'm just going to blend out that concealer. Now, when it comes to blending out the concealer, I'm not like brushing it. I'm more so just tapping it into my skin. I know you guys are probably sick and tired of me using this foundation, but I cannot get enough of it. I'm sorry. For foundation, I'm going in with my Lancome Tip Me A Dual Foundation in the shade 510 Neutral. I'm gonna do about one pump, mm, two pumps. And of course, I'm taking my favorite foundation brush. I was calling this a flat top brush, but I don't think that's what it's called. It's literally just one of these brushes. I got it from TJ Maxx, but I also will have some linked in my Amazon storefront. So I'm just gonna pick up some of that foundation and basically just paint the foundation onto my face. And one thing I like about this foundation is it has SPF. And I don't know if you guys know this, but as a black woman, you want to be wearing sunscreen. You cannot be out here in this heat and not having sunscreen. And this has an SPF 25 in it, okay? So you can't beat that. Now to blend out my foundation, I'm gonna use this Milani F220 brush. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite foundation brush. And I'm actually going to blend out that foundation on my eyelids as well. And of course, if you feel like you need more foundation, put more foundation. <laughs> I'm gonna put some more up in this area. Make sure you're blending your foundation down your neck. I'm not gonna lie, our foundation looks like skin. Like it literally, looks like my skin and i just love the way it blends into my face this is that is why this lancome foundation is my favorite foundation and i can't stop using it i can't stop can't stop won't stop not gonna stop <laughs> for concealer i'm gonna take my lancome concealer in the shade 520. this is something i never do but i'm gonna first put this concealer underneath my eye not to color correct, I wouldn't say, but just for like some extra coverage. And then I'm gonna just put some on my chin. Yeah, just those two areas. Actually, no, I'm gonna put it down my nose. And I know you're wondering like, girl, what are you doing? Trust the process. Just taking a Real Techniques 402 brush and I'm going to blend out my under eye concealer. And this concealer is more so for coverage, okay? We're not highlighting, this is just for coverage. So it's okay if it looks like it's your skin tone, that's the point. Blend that concealer on your chin. I'm not gonna blend out my nose contour just yet. I'm now gonna go in with my Milani concealer in the shade 155. I'm gonna use this concealer to actually highlight. And I'm doing this because you want to bring some definition, some highlight to your face. I want to look like I still put effort into it, but just not as much. And I'm going to put some on the bridge of my nose as well. 
I'm gonna use my black oval foundation stick in the shade Suede Mocha to contour my nose. Only using the slightest amount of this, and I'm using a Morphe M321 brush just to pick up a little bit of that product. First, I'm going to bring it into my eyelid and down. So eyelid and down. And I am gonna kind of bring it into my crease as well. Now we're just gonna go in and blend out that Milani. And I am gonna bring that concealer out. I'm just taking a beauty sponge to blend out my nose contour. To blend out my nose contour, I'm gonna use this. Child, I don't even know what this is. I'm pretty sure this is a Morphe brush. I'm not sure, but it's my favorite brush I like to use to blend out my nose contour. So I'm just literally blending out my nose contour and I'm also blowing it into my crease. So blending it down and then blending it into my crease. And the whole purpose of this look is to still wear makeup but not have to think too much about it, you know? That is the whole point of this. To set everything in place, I'm going in with my one size translucent setting powder. And I'm just gonna press this in like so. Now I'm gonna take this discontinued Morphe bronzer in the shade Leader. This is their Glamour Bronze. You guys always ask me about this. You can't find it. You can't find it nowhere. So that's why I don't really show it, but that's what I'm using. So while we're letting our face bake, I'm literally going to take that same bronzer and I'm going to use that on my eyelids. That's it. That and maybe like an orange and that's pretty much it. So I'm using this Morphe M504 brush and I'm just going to swirl my brush into this. And I'm going to pack this all over my eyelid. And that's another reason why I blended out my black opal foundation stick into my crease because it makes it easier when I go in to add my bronzer shade on my eyelid. I feel like it just makes it pop more. For the orange shade, you guys, it does not matter what orange shade you use. Just pick up any orange shade and blend that on your eye as well. Now we can't forget to contour our face. And the brush I like to use to contour my face is a Morphe E4 brush. Now I'm going in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade 65 Toffee. And I'm using a e.l.f. highlighter brush. You guys know how I feel about this powder. It's my favorite. If you can get your hands on it, please do. Thank me later. I'm 
I'm gonna spray my face with my Makeup Revolution Misting Spray. And one thing about it, with it being hot outside and having oily skin, you need this. You need this. Thank me later. Oh, why is it spraying out like that? Come on now, get with the program. Oh my God. <laughs> Why is it spraying out like this? Like, do I have to like spray it with my thumb or something? So I'm gonna let all this soak into my face and I will be right back. This is definitely looking like skin, like she just, I look like I literally just woke up like this. Now, I am going to smoke out the brown and orange shade underneath my eye because that's just what I like to do. Blush, I'm gonna go with my L'Oreal Unfallible Blush. It's in the shade Legendary Berry. Now, this blush is super duper duper pigmented, so I'm gonna try not to go too crazy with the blush. And then I end up going crazy with the blush. Every every single time for mascara i'm going to use this anti-gravity mascara by milani and one thing about me i'm going to put mascara on my bottom lashes and if you don't why not for my lips i'm going to take my mac lip liner in the shade chestnut Now I'm just gonna take my Essence Lip Gloss in Power of the Nude. This one's good, but this one looks like it's touching my eyebrows. All right, you guys, and this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this chaotic but not so chaotic makeup tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.